This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Oil prices steadied on Monday amid political uncertainty in major producing countries after Iran's president died in a helicopter crash and Saudi Arabia's crown prince deferred a trip to Japan on account of his father, the king's, health. Brent was down 24 cents at $83.74 a barrel by 0958 GMT. The U.S. West Texas Intermediate, WTI, crude for June, set to expire on Tuesday, edged 33 cents lower to $79.73 a barrel in tepid trade. The more active July contract was down 28 cents at $79.30. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi, a hardliner long seen as a potential successor to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, was killed in a helicopter crash in mountainous terrain near the Azerbaijan border, officials and state media said on Monday. The Russian government has made a final decision to suspend the temporary ban on gasoline exports as the market is sufficiently supplied, the RBC Daily reported on Monday citing a source familiar with the decision. The Energy Ministry has confirmed the information, it added. Russia banned gasoline exports for six months from March 1, though exempted a Moscow-led economic union and some countries with which it has direct intergovernmental agreements on fuel supplies in place, such as Mongolia. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. China's imports of Australian coal in April rose to the highest level since July 2020. Reuters records and customs data showed on Monday, because of improving trade relations and tariff advantages. The country imported 7.19 million metric tons of Australian coal last month, according to data from the General Administration of Customs. That represents a 25% increase from the same month of 2019, before a years-long unofficial ban on Australian coal imports. Australian coal exports to China have been recovering since February 2023, when China ended the ban in place since 2020, after trade relations improved between the two countries. Russia was China's top oil supplier in April for a 12th month, with volumes rising 30% from a year earlier, official data showed, as refiners continued to cash in discounted shipments, while supplies from Saudi Arabia fell a quarter on higher prices. China's crude oil imports from Russia, which includes supplies sent via pipelines and the sea, were 9.26 million metric tons last month, or 2.25 million barrels per day, BPD according to data from the General Administration of Customs. That is down from March's 2.55 million barrels of oil per day and the record in June 2023 of 2.56 million barrels of oil per day. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Iron ore futures rose to their highest level in three months on Monday, as traders welcomed China's latest support measures for its crisis-hit real estate sector that accounts for a large volume of iron ore. The most traded September iron ore on China's Dalian Commodity Exchange, DCE, closed 1.1% higher at 894 yuan and 50 fen, $123.72, per metric ton. Earlier in the session, the contract rose as much as 2.4% to 906 yuan, the highest since February 20. China's April imports of unwrought aluminium and products jumped 72.1% on year to 380,000 metric tons, customs data showed on Saturday. The data include primary metal and unwrought, alloyed aluminium. That brought imports in the first four months to 1.49 million tons, up 86.6% from the same period a year earlier, according to data from the General Administration of Customs. The world's biggest consumer of the light metal saw robust consumption as factory output in April exceeded expectations. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. China's soybean imports from Brazil rose 11.7% in April from a year earlier, data showed on Monday, as fresh and cheap Brazilian beans continue to arrive at Chinese ports from flood-hit Brazil. China imported 5.92 million metric tons of the oilseed from Brazil last month showed data from the General Administration of Customs. Brazil ships most of its soybean crop from March to June, when it harvests the crop. 
but deadly floods in key producing state Rio Grande do Sul Rio have disrupted harvesting this season and led to cuts in the state's soy production estimates. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.